Bernard Hopkins, 2019 Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, whew, reflection time, respectful time, and understanding. Get that a little emotional, that huh? The work, that the work, that the work, um, yes, did you, I put in and others who is being inducted into the Hall of Fame was, have spoken and will continue to speak for themselves. Um, is, is really humble and emotional to me based on knowing that um, there was a time where I was questioning whether this was going to be worth it or not. And I made a decision knowing that other things are going to come around where I have to make that same decision whether to bite the bullet, whether to pit my chin down, whether to dig my heels in and never go back to where I've come from. And everybody knows that story. If they don't, they will know soon on the book. I'm so glad I never gave up. And so when you have that and understand that, whether it's a family member, whether it's anyone else, um, to be here in front of you in 2019 in Las Vegas, where many big fights of mine had taken place for my second inducted into the Hall of Fame. Never say never. Never throw the towel in. Because throwing the towel in don't give you a chance tomorrow. When you come here, like what emotions come to mind, especially during a ceremony like this, and what memories come to mind? The emotions is, I really made it. The feelings, it feels good to make it. The third is that I know that I earned it double times of just getting it. I know I had to go through a lot of things where I had to fight in and out of the ring, but that's not going to cloud what is happening and what's going to happen in the future of Bernard Hopkins. If those things didn't exist, we wouldn't be doing interviews about the character, the strength, where you find it, where you stay focused at, at any time where you're, sometimes it might not look like you need to be focused or excuses to not put all of your passion into preparing yourself for a fight to win first to f survive and to win and then go further down the line whatever it comes up that you have to challenge but all the things that that you just asked me and i just mentioned as a reflection when you look around and you see marquez and you see uh you know Spinx, you see senior floyd i mean i've been around these guys but not in the hall of fame inducting not as and inducted into the Hall of Fame. This is a whole new different conversation than I ever had because this is my first or second since Atlantic City. But this is my first experience of talking about a Hall of Fame. There's a lot of us will become fighters, but it's more of us that won't become Hall of Famers. There's a lot of us that will become fighters, and there's more of us that will not become Hall of Famers. The statistics will tell you that 70% of fighters that become fighters will not become Hall of Famers. Just like basketball, just like football, just like hockey. Everyone can't be in the house of Hall of Fame. I made it in. The next step is heaven. <laughs> and Canada Soda. That's the next step. And you'll get in there. I got three more. Well. I got three more years to be a good man, and I'll get in the heaven gates of Catastrophe. <laughs> Bernard, it's always great seeing you, and congratulations, Respect, my man. Man, good talk to you. Same here.